Hey, what is going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio. Tom, week one is here. I'm excited. You know, a lot going on, full slate of games, uh, ready to get making some lineups. So let's talk about building those lineups. Let's talk about the studs we're building around here in week one. And we begin at the quarterback position, where Russell Wilson is your favorite stud here. He's $8,400 for the Seahawks, facing off against the Atlanta Falcons. Russell Wilson, always a good choice, but it is a team that likes to run a lot. Why is he your top choice in the slate? So I'm loving this game environment overall. We have a 49 and a half over under. It's the highest on the slate. The Seahawks have a 25.5 team total, which is the fifth highest on the slate. And we're working with a one and a half point spread. So just that face value right from the jump, we have a great game environment. We know that Atlanta is terrible on defense where they were very bad last year. We're projecting somewhat of the same for this year, setting up a good passing to great passing environment, I should say, for Wilson and the Seahawks offense. Now, Pairing him with Metcalf or Lockett is very easy. And most importantly, this is the spot where we want to see Russ cook. Everyone's going to say, let Russ cook, uh, you know, middle of the afternoon on Sunday. Weak defense, his price tag is certainly high, but we have him projected for uh, 20.5 faded points, which is just three points fewer than Lamar, and he's $1,000 cheaper than Lamar. So we have a great game environment, uh, weak defense to attack, and a very easy stack to pair him with Lockett or Metcalf. Russell Wilson, obviously always a good choice, but this game script should read well for him. And the fact that he's only projected for around that same amount as Lamar Jackson with the price being so much cheaper makes it an obvious call. Russell Wilson, a solid quarterback choice on this week's slate. Well, that's what I could have done, Tom. is at the running back position. And hey, you like Christian McCaffrey. He's $10,000. He's really good. I get this one. Yeah, this is the easy one. This is the one where, uh, you know, first week of the season, a classic, like, don't get cute spot. I'm going to be getting McCaffrey into as many lineups as I can, you know, the tried and true DFS option. And really, I think this game is kind of sneaky, where you look at the Atlanta and Seahawks game, you know, a lot of potential there. We look at the Bucks and the Saints game at 4 p.m. That has a lot of fantasy value. We have the uh, Panthers coming with a 22.25 implied uh, team total, which doesn't seem too high. But they're going up against the Raiders with a bad defense. We know the Panthers have a bad defense. I'm looking at uh, you know, some sneaky shootout potential here, and that means I want McCaffrey in as many lineups as possible. And it's reasonable to assume that he could account for, what, two out of those three touchdowns if they score three and hit the 22 implied team total. So I'm spending up for McCaffrey $10,000, the most expensive player on the slate. It's a full 12 games. There's value out there. I'm rostering him as many times as I can. Week one gives you the opportunity to look at some of these mismatched price players, right? These prices come out so early that the training camp really changes everything. It allows you to get a player like Christian McCaffrey in your lineup. You're not going to be able to do it every week, but this week where the value does exist on the slate, which of course we'll go over later in the week, well, that makes Christian McCaffrey an obvious target here in week one. Now, tight end position is always a tough one, right? Do you want to pay all the way up, or do you want to go into more of a middle tier? This week, well, you're paying up. It's George Kittle at $8,000. Him and Kelsey, of course, the two highest-priced tight ends. Normally, Kelsey playing Thursday night, making Kittle the most expensive tight end on the full slate of uh, games this weekend. George Kittle, your guy here in week one. Absolutely. And I see Kittle as just another lock and load option. You can fit him and McCaffrey in the same lineup, a 27.25 implied team total for the 49ers. You know, great from the start. Uh, Great, great matchup for him going up against the Cardinals, a team that we've historically targeted specifically via the tight end position. Last year, they allowed uh, 16.1 Fanduel points to tight ends. That was last in the league. The team came in second place was at 12.2 Fanduel points allowed. So a clear jump for how bad the Cardinals are on defense against tight ends. Uh, de- the 49ers are dealing with a few injuries with uh, Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. And even if they're in, one's in, one's out, they both sit, I don't think it really matters. Kittle is still the top passing option, top receiving option for the 49ers. So I'm spending all the way up for him. I'm spending all the way up for McCaffrey. And then I'm looking to pair Russell with one of his receivers. Russell Wilson paired with DK Metcalf, paired with Tyler Lockett. It's an excellent stack. But having the ability to go with George Kittle, go with Christian McCaffrey this week, Let's take advantage. We don't know the status of these San Francisco wide receivers, and I don't know that it matters so much. George Kittle, the number one option in that offense and the number one option that you should be choosing at tight end this week. There you have it. Those are the players we are building around in week one. Tom Vecchio, we appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend. Yeah, plenty of games get in there, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later in the week. Absolutely. I'm building my lineups all week long. I'm not pressing submit until I'm done talking to you, and Jim, and everybody else. 
over at FanDuel. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching today's edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. We'll see you tomorrow.